Although some of these EDC prep and survival channels don't have melanin as deep as mine, that doesn't mean they're not worth watching every now and again. These are some of my favorite everyday carry prep survival, maybe man cave, man type stuff channels that I like to watch. Earning my subscription is a task. It, it's a it's a tough thing to do. I just don't give it out all willy nilly. For me, YouTube is my TV. I do a lot of reading, a lot of talk radio and watching and listening to YouTube. So you need to really give me some meat and potatoes to grab my attention on YouTube for a subscription. So I'm gonna give you channels that I'm subscribed to and I watch and I give you the reason why I like them. We'll do a bit, little bit of light roasting as well. Just a little bit of companion to companion light roasting. It's it's nothing wrong with that. I like my coffee lightly roasted, so I'll do the roasting here just lightly. OK, dad jokes. I get it. Then I'm also going to tell you some channels that I'm not subscribed to, but I will pop in and check in on every now and again. I, I don't subscribe to them mostly because sometimes it's a little bit too much fear mongering or a little bit too much niche or a little bit too much politics for me. But I still want to see some of the content that they're pumping out every now and again. So we'll we'll, we'll kind of see which ones fit where the first one HVAC budget. His channel is really designed for helping you find affordable tools. I think he's a HVAC technician, hence the name of the channel. And I do love going to his channel to get a lot of information about multi tools. This is a niche of a niche EDC. And then you niche down to multi tools. He talks about stuff that I've never heard of, would never even think of. I learned about the work pro multi tool from him, the goat multi tool. I saw in his previous videos a couple of years ago, he did try to expand out a little bit. He did a couple of videos about long nose pliers, some screwdrivers, some utility knives, but his bread and butter is multi-tools. I like his presentation, got some good vocal chops on him. Hope he gets the opportunity to expand out a little bit more if you see fit. But if you just want a lot of information about multi-tools, the usefulness of them, how handy they could be if you're into the trades, if you're an electrician or HVAC guy, he might be the guy for you. Now, sometimes some of the deconstruction of the multi tools that are done are just a little bit above my pay grade. I don't think I would ever be able to replicate it. Maybe you can, or maybe you are a little bit smarter than I am. Next is Kit Bashed Survival. Kit Bashed Survival influenced a lot of my videos a couple of years ago. He really niches down on mostly pre-packaged production survival kits, Altoid size, you know, three day assault packs, 72 hour kits for one man, two man, four man. And I really like the videos that he does. He'll look at those videos and he'll also kit bash them. He'll also supplement them with things that he thinks are more useful, that are more things that are more dedicated for whatever mission, whether it's get home, bug out, blackout which is surviving inside of your house whatever i like his spin on things he can talk about stuff from companies i've never heard of but for him is the reason why i heard of best glide asc you know of course we've heard of some of the bigger ones like uncharted supply and se but he really presents stuff that i've never heard of votago just listen if you want somebody who's going to present you very kind of just packaged survival kits where you're not having to DIY everything. Sometimes some of us want that. It's the reason why I ended up picking up some of those kits and putting them through their paces, figuring out what I do and don't like. Kit Bash Survival is kind of just, he's that hidden gem. But I will say this, your posting needs to, po it needs to come up, sir. Okay, I, I know you, I think you have a regular full-time job, but when I started watching you, you know, I myself was probably at like 10,000 subscribers. I've since passed you not bragging on myself. What I'm saying is I think if you posted more because your content's so good, you would soar like an eagle. But what do I know? OK, we're me and you are like, you know, neck and neck. So who really cares? Ah, Talon Psy. So he is one of my guilty pleasures when it comes to like Overland Rig, EDC, it's, it's kind of like man stuff, but really focused on being outside. 
but like a premium or luxury outside. He's going to have the best looking vehicles, some of the best looking kits. He's going to be doing reviews on living in vans or kitting out the back of your Toyota, stuff like that. And I like his vibe. I like the fact that he was bold enough to get the big old, you know, what them things called the large gauge and the in the ears and you know we're all we're all destined to do different things but he's into vehicles motorcycles overlanding and edc and you know one thing i will say is that he will oftentimes present present something to me that i was not even thinking of so he did a video about a year ago when he talked about all these different edc pouches and how some of them are laughable how some of them make no sense but how some of them he loves and why he carries them he's the reason why i ended up getting the supreme edc pouch never heard of it before him he knows what he's doing over a half a million subscribers and he pumps out some good content so go check him out there's some things for me i don't necessarily watch like you know tactical crocs i i don't care about that I, i'm sure sir being the outdoor stuff you know I, you put them crocs in freaking go mode when you strap them behind the ankle and you're ready to rock right i i personally am not going to be rocking crocs but you do you boo boo you do you ah next the brawny the barbarian brawny so this is a creator who is growing before my eyes and i am here for it so he takes fantastic pictures with his google pixel phone which grabbed me by the scrotum i'm a big fan of stuff like that but you know he's expanded beyond that now he's using fantastic cameras he's upgraded the microphone the camera's looking really good new lens and his delivery is something that cannot be emulated and it's because he's from minnesota okay listen i know you're somewhere up there in the northwest i think you're in minnesota i like the mustache which is like fantastic. I think you could easily grow a Fu Manchu, but you won't give us that. If you gave me, if you gave everyone a Fu Manchu, you would have more subscribers than I within a week. I guarantee it. Mark the tape, Brawny, grow a Fu Manchu. He does a little bit of EDC spiciness. He talks about the grail stuff. He'll talk about the Columbia River knife and tool. He'll talk about flashlights. Kind of a little bit of mix of everything. And I like the fact that he's coming from it from a perspective of being a dad, being a husband, and he's pretty freaking jacked as well. So go check out that if you want just kind of like a hometown Midwest nice type of vibe. Go check out Barbarian Brawny. Uh, I think you'll like it. Now, if you want some of the worst dad jokes in the EDC business, like they're just really bad. Mikey Daly carrie is serving up the sauce okay and i'm here for it sometimes i need to polish up my dad joke chops and he's able to do that but i will give you a little bit of light roasting your thumbnails need massaging they need to be taken and they need to, i don't know what to do with my hands but you need to you need to just your, your thumbnails just a little bit of massaging they're, they're a little busy and sometimes you know on my feed it kind of throws me off but once you click on the video and you start consuming the content, it will grab you. It'll get you. It will get you. Okay. Mikey Daily Carrier seems like a real cool, chill type of guy. I think he's out there in California where he has to worry about those stupid knife laws and the restrictions that come with that. And he's still able to pump out content nonetheless. Now, the fact that you like these REs, those are the videos I skip. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, Mikey. Those are the videos I skip. I, I myself am just not, I'm not really interested in the Ranger eyes. I own them. I usually give them away or they sit and collect dust. But I'm glad that you like them because there's someone that's watching now. They didn't know that you were on the Ranger eye stuff. You go check them out. He'll hook you up. Then we have Tri-State EDC. Um, what can I say about Tri-State? First off, he is going neck and neck with Brawny when it comes to the mustache. I think you could have a Fu Manchu as well. So you guys can both pull that off. And his wife is really hot, just like mine. So that is like something that makes life easy. So if you, it, oh wait, and she knows about knives. Like as I love Danny and Lene, my, my Mrs. X, she's great. But Tri-State's wife can cream her when it comes to knowledge about knives i pulled out a knife at blade texas and tri-state's wife was 20 feet away and she identified it and continued doom scrolling on her phone 
that's pretty freaking awesome. He talks about knives. He's pretty niche down talking about knives, but he has a lot of that sauce. And a lot of his videos are first impressions, which I like that because a lot of times when you're looking at a knife on the internet, on the webs, it's a really stale photo. Your cup, you're looking through a couple of photos. It looks a little weird. What Tri-State brings you is a a 3D rendering of that knife, a first impression, but his little spin on it with his little sound effects and his little, you know, little glasses and all that up. Listen, he's coming with the sauce, okay? So if you want first impressions, especially like brand new knives that are just hitting the market, he has the plug with these companies. If you're like, hey, should I get that new K-Bar folder, USA made, first one in 50 years? He's probably gonna get it. I don't know if he has it yet, but he might have it, okay? So that way, the four trash photos on K-Bar's website, are supplemented with nice first impression videos from folks like that. Plus he's from Ohio, I'm from Cleveland. He's from the Southern part, but we're all still Ohioans at best. I like stuff like that. Next is the perfect bag. Now I think his name is Clint. He does all bag reviews. He's focused on bags. Sometimes the shit you put in bags like pouches and stuff like that. First off, all right, let, let's just say this perfect bag. Like the name of the channel, easy to find. Your thumbnails need work, they're busy. It's a lot of shit all over the screen. But once you click on those videos, you're going to get that sauce about these bags over all. If you want a nice lengthy, when I say lengthy, I mean it in the best of ways, not a pejorative. If you want a nice lengthy video about a bag that just came out, a bag you've never heard of, something like that, the perfect bag is the way to go. He posts pretty often about bags that you may absolutely may not want to just purchase and return buy and return maybe you're interested in it maybe you don't want to go through that headache he's going to give you the information about the bag how does it feel about the warranty the best use case it's kind of like my guilty pleasure going to check them out speaking of the bag sauciness so george defined has the skin tone like i which is fantastic because there's not a lot of folks that look like me with an edc he does a lot of stuff in regards to bags, but he also expands upon that with everyday carry type of stuff. How does he load out a pouch? All that. But the biggest thing, literally the biggest thing is his beard. OK, he has this salt and pepper beard. It's probably a panty dropper for most. If I were to show his photo to Mrs. X, there is a chance, a slight chance that she's gonna confirm that his beard is a panty dropper. Okay, so if, 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 if you like that type of sauce, if, if that's the type of stuff, bag reviews, salt and pepper beards, bald heads, melanin tones, easy to understand reviews on these bags and other EDC stuff, go check out George because he lays out the stuff for you to easy to understand. Thumbnails are really impressive. He gives you that different sauce and he's actually out and about using these things for several weeks at a time. Coffee shops, everyday carry, camera bags. He'll use it for use the same bag in different ways to kind of give you a well-rounded review of it. And I like that, but I mostly like the beard. JB outside is one of my favorites as well when it comes to bags. We're, in, we're, we're deep in bags right now, okay? JB Outside is what inspired me to acquire a go ruck. He rucks, he's a rucker, okay? He's a mother rucker. He actually likes to get out there and hike, ruck, hump, whatever you wanna call it with his bags and give you his perspective from the use of carrying a load out for several miles through a hiking trails different stuff like that so if you want somebody with a different perspective maybe not plopping down at a library or a coffee shop or throwing a bunch of diapers in a bag or something like that jb outside is that type of stuff and he always just has this scars connection by scars i'm talking about go ruck if you want to know about go ruck versus mystery ranch versus just all that type of stuff he's just for some, I don't know how, how he's able to get these things like so quickly and have the reviews done so well, but JB outside does them really, really good. He has a slick face, okay? George Define has the big old salt and pepper beard. If you like the nice slick face, then there you go. You got your nice yin and yang, literally. The Dinner Tools. Jeff Red over there at the Dinner Tools. He talks about tools. It's, it's called the Dinner Tools, but he also dips his toe into everyday carry he's coming from everyday carry from kind of like a more of an og original gangster perspective a knife that they can just put in their pocket it's going to work they're going to sharpen it every now and again i like the perspective of 
talking about the knives. I do want to razz you a little bit because you mispronounce almost every knife, although I do the same thing, okay? I do the same thing, okay? I know sometimes you struggle with Civivi. I struggle with the knife that CPM carries, the Shinogaran. So listen, we do the same thing. But if you want some of that sauce about possibly finding everyday carry stuff at Harbor Freight, everyday carry stuff at Home Depot, also just getting everyday carry stuff from these big companies, go check out the Dena Tools because he also can hook up your trucks for tools that you might need in those, your man caves for the kits that you need in those. And he's just a good guy. He lives in Montana. I get, I think that brings clout. He wears a cowboy hat, true budget EDC and prepping use your gear or lose your gear. I think that's what rattles from me when I watch his videos. And if I miss spoke that my bad, but true budget, listen, he pumps out a lot of content. I like that. That's one of the things that makes it hard to get my subscription is if you're, if your schedule is not very consistent, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but if I don't hear from you for months and you're not pumping out a movie, that's an issue. But he will do daily carries. He actually is a working man. I think he's blue collar. So he's showing you the shit that he's going to be using at work. He talks about pouches and items I've never heard of, whatever. He presented a flashlight called the Trust Fire M3 Mini. It looks like an Ola, an Olight. And but for him coming with these like niche finds, it would be hard to really recommend something like the Olight when you have something like that being presented. I like these smaller EDC channels that are really showing us stuff that you wouldn't think to get Ace Beam through night, the Trust Fire pouches you've never heard of knives you've never heard of stuff that actually looks like they have tons of snail trails tons of scars on the actual blade itself the stuff looks like it's being used and his videos are digestible four to ten minutes kind of gets the job done he does a longer one every now and again but i like that just to be able to kind of get a little bit of sprinkling like a little dose of edc that's true budget hashtag bars notorious edc now notorious edc is a channel that i'm not subscribed to but i go check in on every now and again because they sell stuff right they sell stuff and things and but i like the presentation it seems to be really down to earth he talks about shit i don't would not buy sometimes like nux i'm not i'm not buying vega bombs and nux and shit like that i'm not buying the donut collection or did I decide to try otherwise? I did. He talked about the donut connection and talked about how people didn't like it and how some people do like it. So, but the reason that I don't subscribe to the channel, you don't post enough, okay? For me personally, you're posting once a month, every four months, every three months. I need I need more. I need more for to get that subscription, but I like the tattoos, okay? I don't know the boldness to get tattoos all up and down the neck. Sir, you're a bold man. You're a bold man. I, I know you're busy, but give me a little bit more of that sauce. And just my opinion, I'm not an expert, not an expert, but I personally believe that if you don't have at least 10,000 subs, you shouldn't put your face on a thumbnail. I think you're taking away from valuable content, but that's just my opinion. But your name, Notorious EDC, people know what that shit is. So I can understand why you may say pound saying I'm going to do what I want to do, but give me some more sauce, but still go check it out. Speaking of folks that look like me, Melly556. Now, I am, Melly556 is mostly a shorts creator. 556 has to do with the AR platform. He has dreads like I do. He talks about outfitting your daily carry when it comes to boomsticks, whether it's a rifle or a pistol. I like the kind of just quirky, like running gun filming style of it. I like the shorts. Shorts are short, i.e. why they're called shorts. And I like the fact that he's presenting different stuff from a young man's perspective. He's clearly younger than I am. I think he's still in his 20s presenting stuff, carrying different things, showing appendix holsters. He might have it side holsters. He might have stuff that just all sorts of different ways. So I like the fact that, A, you're presenting stuff that from a uh, perspective when you look like me. And B, you got some pretty good looking women on your shorts. I don't know if these are your sisters or your woman or your mom. I don't know who they are. But when you combine all that together you grab my attention so go check out melly 556 as well if you want to if not you know whatever uh next on my list is dominic scalise now <laughs> i almost feel like i need to go put on a shirt and tie or a blazer or an oxford to talk about dominic he um he doesn't post very often but he's one of those channels that even if you don't post often the content's so good that i'm 
willing to wait for it. He's talking about everything from everyday care when it comes to your clothing, the articles of clothing you put on your body, such as your pants or your shirt or your belt, also your watches. But he has some of the most dry humor that I like. I like dry humor, and it's sometimes it's hard to catch the jokes. It's hard to catch the self-deprecation for which he is good at. Thumbnails are pretty shitty, but I think you're finessing that. I think you're working that out a little bit. And it's more of a lifestyle channel, and it's a man type of channel. But it's coming from a more sophisticated gentleman type stuff. If you want to see stuff like that, like his EDCs are literally called like coffee shop EDC. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, just like I talked earlier about HVAC, which is has to do with HVACs and condensers and compressors. He's coffee shop. This is the shit he takes to the coffee shop because that's what his job allows for him to do. Next is Magic Prepper. Here's our first run in when it comes to prepping channels when they have very, you know, layout thumbnails, which is the the vertical naming on the channel and the, the, the big letters. And listen, I like magic prepper, not shitting on any other prepping channel. I like city prepping as well, but I like magic prepper because it's not doomsday. Every video it's not, he seems to really be coming from perspective of like, Hey, just in case shit hits the fan buy these noodles, just in case shit hits the fan. Here's an AR build. You might want to give a go, but it's not clickbaity. You know, he may have a clickbait every now and again, but he seems to be like a very humble type of dude. And I like that. So, you know, there's other prepping channels who are literally like the end is tomorrow. And that video came out two years ago. If the end was tomorrow, two years ago, why are you still posting videos? I don't have to worry about that with Magic Prepper. I like the flow of it. I like that he presents these kits I've never heard of, uh, uh, you know, outfitting his uh his vehicle or his loadout that I've never even thought of. And Magic Prepper is just a dope ass name for a channel. Next on the list is the Quack, Ron Quack. Like me some Quack. He's pumping out videos in regards to EDC and a little bit of lifestyle type of stuff. What I like about Quack is his presentation, the way that he kind of moves his hands in the videos. And I like the fact that, you know, he's able to kind of like give us different B-roll and, and, and it, it keeps the videos interesting from start to finish. His logo, his saying is live with purpose, meaning like, you know, the things that you have, make sure they have a purpose within your life, which sometimes that purpose can be just bringing you joy. That's why you bought it. Or it can be a functional purpose, as in I need this thing because I hammer stuff. OK, so one thing I would say about Quack is sometimes your B-roll is a little too fast. Okay, sometimes I watch your videos and I almost get dizzy with the B-roll. Okay. And I wish you posted a little bit more. These are just the posting a little bit more is because I want the content. I want more quack. I want more of it. But he has my subscription. I think he's putting out good content. Now, to be fair, I think he has a new kiddo. He has an older kiddo. I mean, I got five kids myself, sir. I got a 10 month old, two year old, three year old, nine, nine year old, 15 year old smoking hot wife full-time job got a lot going on i wish i got a little bit more out of you my guy but go check him out if you want to see from the perspective of a dad from a perspective of someone that's not hard using their items and he's really giving you a sometimes longer term use but a lot of like first impression videos in regards to the items that he has then go check it out, especially for some stuff that you don't even think of. I'm also jealous that you got that freaking Leatherman arc, sir. You want to sell it to your boy? Come holla at me. I mean, just let me know because I, I wouldn't mind having the Leatherman arc for less than two hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> John Gadget. John Gadget is a fella from the UK. It's British. I don't know if he lives in England or or wherever, but uh. Let's let's just say that I aspire to produce the thumbnails and the titles that John Gadget produces. He shows me a haul of gear that I've never thought of, seen before, and he does it with an accent that makes me want to sit down and have high tea at any time of the day. He's been doing it for a good minute now. This is not his first rodeo, and he's doing incredibly well, approaching 150,000 subscribers 
tons of views on every video. Love the content he's putting out. Thumbnails are phenomenal. And I'm glad that you are always improving your camera, your audio. It's just so good, John. It's so good. His video is more of a, a first impressions video on the gear that he uses. He does use the gear that he has, but there's times when he does gear hauls where it's just a first impression. I imagine he hasn't used the items yet, and I'm okay with that because sometimes I don't want to spend the money on that Victorinox, that SAK, that knife, that pouch, that Tom Tock, whatever, and you've already done it or they sent it to you. And now I can look at it and make a decision. Do I want to get my phalanges on it or do I want to just admire the goodness that comes from the foreigner that is called John Gadget? Speaking of foreigners, Marcus O'Brien. He's an Irishman that now lives in California and the accent is once again one of those things that draws me right on in, okay? He's a Silicon Valley type of guy that's pumping out EDC content that's a little bit different. You know, it's a very relaxed in the office L-shaped desk type of like, let's just sit down, let's have a conversation. Let's tell you why my EDC works for me. That's what I feel when I watch Marcus videos. Even though he can convince me that an item that I hated, I should have. He's the reason I bought the Ray-Ban Metas. You didn't know that, did you, Marcus? You didn't know that. Yeah. So I like the fact that you're able to produce content that seems to be genuine, that your thumbnails are pretty fire. OK, now there's a couple of oddballs you throw in there every now and again. Cyber truck versus the F-150. Wasn't expecting that one, although I'm interested in the cyber truck. You know, you may have like your 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 best carbon fiber tools. You know, that's unexpected. But, you know, go for what you want to, because I do the same shit every now and again. Last line of defense, L-L-O-D, guilty pleasure. I must admit, raise the hand if you have a guilty pleasure for a little bit of L-L-O-D. His channel seems to be an overlander guy who every now and again makes a YouTube video. That That's the vibes. And of course, he has over 400,000 subscribers, hundreds of videos. I think he does this full time, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels like, I guess I should make a video about this cool thing I'm about to do. I like that. OK, I will say this, though. Your videos are long AF. Sometimes I don't have time to sit down and to give up a good chunk of my life to watch your videos. But when I do, I know they're going to draw me in with a the story. They're going to draw me in with the gear that you're using. It's going to make a whole lot of sense. Sometimes I do wish you give me a little bit more B-roll. You might be talking about literally a kit, an EDC kit or bug out or get home kit for like 40 minutes. And I'm like, I can't really see that item very well, but it's okay. This isn't your first rodeo. You've been doing this for a while. So just tell me to pound sand LLOD if you see this. You're the reason I bought the Diamondback Tanu cover from a little truck out there. Okay. I got the headache rack. You didn't get the headache rack. You know, I, I you know, I made that thing happen, but because of you, I got it. I've been enjoying it for three years. I owe you guys a three year review on that thing because it's freaking awesome. Erica's EDC. She lives in New Hampshire and she is uh, she's 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 she has a nice potty mouth. OK, she kind of gives it to you nice and raw. I like that. She talks about knives a lot. She's super knowledgeable or not, not about knives makes me feel like a nincompoop. You know, she'll show a knife that I clearly own and tell me things about it. I had no clue about. And she does a little bit of kind of like off grid living type stuff, a little bit of bushcraft survival. But she's really good at acquiring, testing knives for a very long time, giving like an update on it. And she can talk through something from 30 seconds to 30 minutes and just kind of bring you in. Now, Erica, your thumbnails need work. OK, I, we will admit that they could use a little bit of massaging, but your storytelling and when you describe or, or review an item. You're making that stuff happen. So Erica's EDC. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Josh Fien. I fiend me some fiend. OK, that wasn't a good joke. But uh, Josh Fien is another lifestyle man type of channel. He talks about stuff from flannels, EDC for your vehicle, travel, everyday carry, suitcases, and then just EDC loadouts. 
I love the fact that your stuff is nice and streamlined. You have a very textbook way of doing your thumbnails. When I see it, I know it's your video, just like John Gadget. I don't have to wonder, well, whose video is this? I like that. Here's one that I think if you're not following her, then you're doing yourself a disservice. Maine Girl Outdoors. Her name is Danielle. She's from Maine, still lives in Maine. She's doing all sorts of field craft, bushcraft, survival stuff. But I've learned a, a, a ton of stuff from her channel from how to jar certain items, how to preserve meat. I don't think I would ever find myself ice fishing. But if I did find myself that way, her channel is the place I like to go for that. She posts consistently. Her thumbnails are usually just like a snippet from the video, but it kind of draws you in like, oh, how does she make that minestrone soup? I'm curious. How did she preserve that elk meat? I'm curious, or I don't even know if she shot elk before, but I like the fact that you're seeing a gal that's out there using her EDC gear. She's going hunting. She's wearing the orange get up. She's probably hunting on, on public lands or her own land and doesn't want to get shot in the back. But it just is nice to see females in EDC, just like earlier we talked about Erica. And I love the storytelling. If you will have time, you want to sit down and watch like longer videos, especially for a place you don't live or would never live, because there's not a lot of people that live in Maine and even just like the New England states. Overall, if you don't think you would ever live up there, like I'm never moving to any of the New England states, then, yeah, go check her out. The best damn EDC. Now, the best damn EDC is I guess it's one of those channels where I'm, I'm subscribed and First off, this is not his first rodeo. I've talked about him months before when I kind of felt like he was phoning it in. He himself admitted that he was going through a rut. He was getting burnt out and it showed on the videos. But when you're in your prime, Taylor Martin, oh, you are blowing the back out of EDC and I am here for it. Now, admittedly, kind of feel like you found your way into something that worked. And I'm OK with that. OK, back in the day, I used to I had a freaking failed YouTube channel. And that was a daily vlog channel, horrible idea, but I learned a lot from it and I learned how to put together videos nowadays. And I know you back in the day were with CNET and Pocket Now, and you kind of are here now in everyday carry. And I like to be able to go through every now and again and look at the loadouts and build outs that you're putting together. A lot of stuff for, I normally would check out your grill type items, stuff that you may acquire from like a, a loadout from Harbor Freight or whatever. But the one thing I will say is your videos for me are mostly first impression videos. Uh, I just, just my opinion, most of the shit you have, you're not using just like a lot of shit that I have. I may not use for very long, but I'm okay with like first impression type stuff like this item you got. And I see it on a website, but how is it going to be used in real Life. You also started your own business with, business with Carry Commission, and you're pumping out some unique items there. A little bit overpriced for some of the stuff, but they're still nice. Like the bum bag XL looks interesting, although I didn't really like the regular bum bag. You got your slides. You got different things that you're pumping out, and people know the name. So I would just say continue to move out of that rut i like it you got your editor with the flowing locks he's making stuff look real good there as well so i'm glad that tables have turned for you my guy high consumption now i normally don't follow blog websites that also have a youtube channel like everydaycarry.com they have a youtube channel and it's not very consistent it's not very good high consumption is a blog website that talks about all sorts of gear and they put out phenomenal youtube videos they're meaty they're long the b-roll is icy i like it i don't know who's behind it i just know that if you want to look at stuff for like a men's lifestyle type of website that has success successfully made a youtube channel this is where you go and a lot of it is for stuff that I've never heard of. So if I don't go read their website, it will normally somehow make its way to a video and I can digest that and decide, do I want to check the item out? And I can appreciate the different loadouts they put together, whether it be best keychain stuff, best watches, best of one specific color, like matte black and stuff like that. So yeah, I like me some high consumption. Next, we have outdoor survival gear. He talks about the stuff that should be in your backpack in a survival situation. Okay, let's just first off say that your thumbnails, 
with like you pack so much gear in your thumbnails it just makes me want to click even if they're sometimes will be categorized as too busy it's the way that you edit and like the kind of i think the actual ways that you're presenting the information it looks super interesting and i love the different survival items that are presented here even if it's something that doesn't really look like you've used it much which is okay it's it's happened on this channel as well it still gives me ideas like well maybe i do need that flux capacitor in my survival kit thank you outdoor survival gear super well appreciated jeremy sires if i'm mispronouncing that jeremy let me start my two-part apology by saying sir i've been following your channel for four years you're the reason that i bought all sorts of shit we're not going to say anything about you being a cannon shooter and i'm a sony shooter but you are the definition of man shit your man shit mondays is something i look forward to you need to start posting those more consistently okay your live streams with big al which is his wife and she's smoking hot we got all these youtubers with smoking hot wives is something that i like to lurk in and just watch You've taught me so much about cigars, EDC. He's the reason I provide a cigar club. Can we stop glazing Jeremy Sires X? Okay, I understand it, but listen, his channel's fantastic and he's over a half a million subscribers. He's pumped out hundreds of videos and they're high quality, whether it's the B-roll, the A-roll, the lighting, the way he lights stuff up. His man cave is phenomenal. His, uh, actual basement area or whatever it is i don't know if it's a basement or game room area he used to film in phenomenal and i love the fact that he's doing everything from traeger grills to tools to edc to whiskey that's what i aspire to be able to do and kind of just buttonhole and pull myself out of an everyday carry type of niche is where I look at when it comes to jeremy sires he's my guiltiest of guilty pleasures minus the canon part we we're, we're not gonna hate on you for that sir maurice moves is the definition of canadian spirit okay maurice is coming through and i think he's a machinist if i'm not mistaken but when he puts out a video i know the pacing the filming the a row the look it's going to grab me by the scrotum i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna sip my little espresso and I'm going to enjoy whatever he's talking about. It doesn't matter if he is talking about literally his experiences, watching someone else do work, his own experiences with travel. He goes and buys these little fungi pop looking things from Japan or wherever the hell he was at. It just draws you in. OK, I like watching his videos and just really taking them in. He's grown so freaking fast. I love it. I love the thumbnails as well. I love how down to earth that the dude is. And I love the fact that when he tells you something, he's not trying to sell it to you. He's just telling you, like, if you want the shit, here's why it's awesome or here's why it sucks. He also came up with these different videos where he would literally show you an EDC that's three hundred dollars and three thousand dollars. And you just can. They're both expensive. OK, but you can decide which one works for you. Maurice moves. Move on over, sir, and grab you some more subs because you're awesome max level edc first off the favorite part of max level edc is the lighting i think he's in a garage i'm in a garage it's just so like it feels so mysterious like is he by a car is he next to a pool table are there boxes on the other side of that camera it just feels very like capable like any of us could turn on a camera and make it happen and max level does it in such a way that is super well appreciated but the my favorite part hands down is when he turns the camera around to himself and over his shoulder are a the biggest most beautiful stack of milwaukee pack out systems i've ever seen every time i see your milwaukee pack outs i, I cream myself a little bit i just i'm just like i want to know all the tools he has is it all milwaukee is he mixing in something from other systems how did he get it why does he have it i like it now he is a connoisseur of everyday carry he'll show you first impressions of knives and multi-tools but he'll also dive deep on modifying some shit you want to modify your leatherman free p2 p4 the arc he's willing to do it void some warranties to show you how to do it i'm glad you void your warranty max level because i don't want to void mine even though i did modify my free p4 but the purpose is he's showing you what you can do with the items that you have and maybe reduce your fomo He's a FOMO reducer. Fear missing out. He's that guy. He can reduce your FOMO, except for the pack out part. I want all that pack out. 
Everyday Minimalist. Everyday Minimalist, OG, Triple OG, EDM. Now, he is mostly a shorts channel. He puts out some nice curated long firm content as well, but his shorts get millions of views. People to get a first impression short of less than 60 seconds of your items and it possibly reach millions of people, uh, yeah, he can make that happen, okay? He did these unboxing videos that just sucked me in, drew me in, and that's how I discovered him. He's always pumping, you know, reaching out to his actual audience via live streams. He pumps out uh, different ideas every month, whether he may talk about what's his going to be his carry for that month, which is appreciated. A lot of stuff is grill items, a lot of stuff you can't get your hands on. But who cares if you own the space that you're in? It is what it is. So, yeah, he's going to show budget every now and again. But if he's showing you a gravity, a grail or something that you may never acquire, but you can just aspire to have it. I'm OK with that. And especially I aspire to be able to knock out shorts like you do, my guy. They look fantastic. And you're also a cannon shooter. We're not going to we'll forgive you for that. Neves knives. Neves, listen, Um, when I grow up, I want to know as much about knives as you do. I want to know how to sharpen them. I want to know about the blade steel. Your hands are always getting nicked. It's apparent in your videos that this is not your first rodeo. OK, you came from a construction background and now you are blessing us with a almost daily, if not twice a day, glazing of knife goodness. Also, everyday carry stuff. But what I've been learning a lot from Neves is how to sharpen some shit and not look like an idiot. So for the longest I just sent my knives in for a spa service. Got some Benchmades, throw them in a box, send them to Benchmade, they'll sharpen them. Got a tactile knife, drive over to tactile because I live in Dallas, they'll sharpen it. He's given me the confidence to take the angled approach, literally, and slow down and sharpen the stuff myself. He also is great at first impressions. Everything from budget like 25 bucks to grail type stuff. And he owns over a thousand knives. A freaking thousand knives. So this is this is not his first rodeo. We just interviewed recently as well. Go check that out. Now, here are some channels that I'm not subscribed to. I go check in on because I want to either a see if they're growing, but I like the way they flow with things or B, they're just too freaking much for me. But I like to check on them every now and again. Here's one channel that is growing EDC fanatics. Listen, your approach is great. You have a very well, a very good way to explain stuff. It's nice, long form content. God, I need you to post more than once a month. I've discovered you long ago and I still haven't given you the subscribe because I want to see more. I'm loving when I see stuff that you're talking about Ontario Rat and Civivi and Sincut and Buck. Like you're really talking about those very capable budget items that I don't know about. But I want more from you, fanatic. Be a real fanatic. Post every. Listen, if you're going to post once a month, it's OK. But that once a month needs to be damn near a movie if you want a subscription for me. Otherwise, can I get a little bit more fanatic? Just like a little bit more. Just like a just a tinge. Accessorize me. OK, I, you don't have the subscription mainly because. It's a lot. OK, first off, you got over a million subscribers. This is not your first rodeo. You have hundreds of videos. But sometimes I do get a little bit exhausted of you bitch slapping EDC items around your studio, you know, and eight hundred dollar fidgets disgust me. But he's still a guilty pleasure of mine. Helped me discover stuff I've never heard of. I bought a little sanitizer squirt thing I keep on my belt clip every now and again because of him. But, I, you know, every now and again, just watching him bitch slap shit around the studio kind of gets a little bit hackneyed for me and I want to move away from it. But if you want to see stuff that comes from tech, he did start off back in the day, like I think reviewing cell phones and he's worked his way into the accessories game, mostly everyday carry essentials. Then check him out. Last but not least, the Canadian prepper. He could not get a subscription for me because it's too much. It, it's too much hair on fire. It's too much hair on fire. I'm glad there's someone in this space that it resembles my skin tone. That's appreciated. But I can remember watching videos from him two years ago that says the day is tomorrow or it's happening next week. And it didn't happen. Canadian prepper too clickbaity for me. But every now and again, I go to his channel because of him. I loaded out the rear of my truck okay because of him i decided to out molly to the rear of my truck and to have a little bit more preparation in my vehicle he's also a type of person i like to see what he has loaded out for when he does ruck 
But when he talks about like, you know, there's an emergency coming in 48 hours, he loses me fast. I don't want that on my feed. That's why I don't necessarily watch it as often as others. But he has over a million subscribers, over 2000 videos. Who cares if I'm subscribed to him, right? But what do you guys think? Who did I miss? If I missed you, I apologize, pound sand, okay? If you were featured here, I apologize, pound sand, okay? Let me know who you guys follow down below in the comments. If this is your first time stopping by, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, thank you once again for watching me run my grape. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.